Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadwick with Premier Guitar, and we're back with another gear spotlight. And this time, we're uh, going to be checking out a new acoustic amp from New X, and we're here with Derek to uh, show it off to us. So how you doing, Derek? Good, thanks, Jason. How you doing? I'm doing well. All right, so we heard the new acoustic amp there on the intro. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. This is the New X Stageman Charge 2 AC80. It's an 80 watt acoustic amp with a ton of features in there and some custom speakers. There's a six and a half inch woofer and a one inch tweeter. And New X, when they were designing it, couldn't decide which speaker to use. They tried hundreds of them. So they actually custom built their own and put those into the amp. Nice. So 80 watts, that sounds like a lot of power for an acoustic amp. Can you break that down to tell us a bit more how that translates to maybe uh, what we understand it with uh, electric guitar amps? Yeah, of course. I mean, with an electric guitar amp, 80 watts is going to be a lot of the mid-range and high or mid-highs. Um, so there's not a lot of bass going on with an electric guitar amp. But with this one, because you've got a full rich bass on it, you're probably not going to want to sort of drive it all the way up and turn the bass all the way up to try and get 80 watts of deep bass from a six and a half inch speaker. Mm -hmm. um, but at um, club levels, you know, bedroom levels, small gig levels, you'll get a decent rich bass from it and all the mids and the highs that you need from the amp. Right on. And what we're hearing now in the video is the DI out, correct? It is, yeah. Yep. All right. So what other uh, features and controls? I'd imagine there's some EQ controls along the top there. Yeah, there is. There's two channels on the amp and each of the channels, you get a three band EQ, bass, middle and treble, as well as reverb on each of the channels. And you get an EFX knob on uh, both mm. channels as well. And that EFX knob is something that you set up in the app. You can choose between chorus, delay, reverb, flange, etc. Set that into the amp so that when you engage that EFX, then you'll get that particular effect coming through the amp, and that's engaged using the foot switch. Gotcha. Can you, uh, are you able to demonstrate some of those sounds? Yeah, absolutely. I think I've got a delay in there at the moment, so let me uh, tap the delay on. Nope, this is a chorus. <laughs> There are three different types of chorus in there. You've got a stereo chorus, chorus one, and chorus two. And if I just flip into the app, and then we'll change that to, let's say, a tape echo, which is really interesting. I'm gonna turn the time up on the tape echo so you can hear that. Now I've turned it up extreme so you can hear that. Mm -hmm tape saturation on that particular delay um, but there are four other delays in there so let me just choose an, uh, an analog delay so there's plenty of different types of effects in there as well which can all be engaged using the foot switch as I say right so tell us a little about the foot switch how many how many buttons does it cover uh, you've got two buttons on the foot switch and you've got two outs on the back of the foot switch. And on the back of the Stageman Charge 2, you've got two ins. So at the moment, I'm just going from the left channel or A on the foot switch into A on the Stageman 2. What that allows me to do is switch on the EFX and the reverb. I can switch them both on or off. Now, if I were to go from channel B on the foot switch into channel B in the amp, I can then engage the drums um, and the looper as well. So I can work the looper and the drums from the foot switch. Oh, Alternatively, okay. I think I think I can run two cables out of the foot switch as well and two cables into the back of the new X so that I can just do everything then. You can just do it all right on. Yep. All right, so uh, how about the reverb? Let's see if we can maybe crank up the reverb and, and hear how that yeah, goes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've, we've got a standard reverb on there, but what I'm going to do, I'll engage some of the other reverbs as well. So I'm going to engage the whole reverb on the E effects so that we can hear that. And let's crank that up. So reverb off or standard reverb in the uh, unit and then the whole reverb after that. There we go. 
Yeah. All right, so we've gone over the effects, the EQ. You mentioned, so there's a looper built in as well. And yeah, also uh, built in. a drum machine. Yeah, we've got drums in there as well. Uh, there aren't there aren't a whole there aren't a ton of patterns in there, but if I I can start that up for you. So we've got like a standard metronome which you can use to practice to. If I just flip up to shuffle, for example. Yeah, so there, there are around sort of six or seven different drum patterns that can use tempo controlled as well. And you can adjust the master volume so you can just practice to them. But one of the one of the good things on top of the uh, drum loops is it's got an aux in on the back. So you can connect, for example, I want to say MP3 player, but who does that these <laughs> days? Everything Everything's Bluetooth streaming. So mm -hmm. it can do Bluetooth streaming uh, from backing tracks on your phone, for example, and just stream them through to the amp. Nice. Um, cool. So talked about the drums. That, and you, said, uh, you mentioned the app. So the app, separate download, uh, free app. Free app, free download, yep. Free app, free download. And now, is it available for both iOS and Android, or? That I'm not sure of, to be okay. fair. I iOS for sure, though, right? Is that what you're using? iOS for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Cool. All right, Derek, so we've covered the the effects in the drum machine and the looper. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you can load your own IRs into this amp. Well, the amp has got, um, well, the amp, the app can then send guitar IRs to the amp. And there are around eight different guitar IRs, everything from sort of Gibson, Taylor, um, Martin guitars, which will then sort of start to change the EQ of the way the amp sounds. And I can give you a small demonstration here. For example, if I choose a Gibson Hummingbird, I'm going to, there's magnetic and piezo options. So if I choose the Hummingbird piezo, I'll play you... And as I say, you've got you've got high-end guitars in there: the Gibson Hummingbird, the Taylor 414, Martin um, HD28, and that sort of thing. So that's one of the unique features because New X had a pedal out a little while ago called the Optima Air, where you could load your own IRs in. You can't load your own IRs in this one, but it will give you that uh, those Optima Air IRs through the amp. Dig it. All right, Derek. Thank you so much for joining us today and showing us all around the new amp. Uh, we're going to have you play us out, and this is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our gear demos.